Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this is a short message to the youth out there. I myself am an activist and I wanted to quickly talk about the importance of activism. Activism, obviously, the root verb or noun there is act. It's all about action, doing something. And in our faith, the faith of Islam, action comes with relief. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty, always says, Alladina amanu wa amilu salihat, those who believe and do good. So belief is one side of the coin, action always comes with it, always. And so if we are believers, if we truly believe in Allah, we have to do something about it. And that something is action. And so, my dear youth, um, each and every one of you has a God-given talent. Only you can identify that talent. You may be a great speaker. You may be someone who writes well. You may be someone who um, has a particular knowledge base or expertise, uh, taking care of the poor or the environment um, or people in need. Uh, you may be someone who has time on their hands or even money. Whatever it is that you have, it is very important that you think of a way to put it into action in order to solve a particular problem in society. And if we, every single Muslim living in Chicago, in Houston, in Dallas, in the United States, in the world, puts their time to use, puts their talent to use through action, I think we can help make this world a better place. And I think that's really the point of being Muslim. Obviously, all of us believe that we want to go to heaven. And that's the real purpose of life, is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty, in order to make it to the best place, and that is heaven. But in this life, we also have a role to play. As a matter of fact, here's where we get lucky. In playing this role well, we have a good life in this life, and it becomes our path into the next, into Jannah, inshallah. But again, it isn't just about prayer. Prayer is important. It isn't just about the Qur'an. The Qur'an is important. It isn't just about fasting and giving donations. All of those things are absolutely important. But it's about doing something. Doing something. If you have a... If I tell you that you have a car battery and you have a car, and I tell you which of the two do you prefer to use in order to get from point A to point B? Either just a car battery or a car without a car battery. You're going to quickly tell me that you can't do it either way. You're going to tell me that you need both together. And that's exactly the analogy with faith and with action. Okay, if I just have faith, it's like just having a car battery. It's nice, but it's expensive paperweight. It doesn't do much. And if I just have action, but it's not inspired by faith, it's like having a car without a car battery. It's not going to go very far. But you have this battery, which is your soul. You charge it with faith, and then you put it in that car, which is action. And only then can you go from point A to point B. This is, alhamdulillah, the sunnah of Islam. This is the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam. And so, please remember that when you are reading the Quran, when you're praying, when you're doing dhikr, when you're going to the halaqa, all of these things you're doing for a reason, okay? In of themselves, they're holy and they're pure and they're blessings. But you're doing them to prepare yourself for something. And that something is action. That something is change. You working to change something from bad to better. It isn't just about serving the Muslim community. It's about serving humanity. It's about serving community at large. You know, living in Chicago, where I'm from, there are problems. I know there are problems. There's homelessness. Um, there is drug abuse. There are there's crime. There's gangs. Um, all sorts of different problems, right? There is Islamophobia. There's anti-Semitism. Um, there is uh, abuse of women. You pick your issue and you devote yourself through knowledge to trying to make it better. To try to make it better. I think Muslims ought to be in competition with Tylenol. We are pain relievers. That's what Muslims are. We need to relieve pain in society. If we're in a society in which there's pain and we're not doing anything about it, we're not being true Muslims. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, you are powerful only through the power of Allah. Through the power of Allah, through prayer, through worship, through dhikr, you become powerful in order to serve Him, in order to make this world a better place. And that is the whole point of activism. And inshallah, we can get to a point where we don't feel self-righteous about our worship, our beards, our clothes. You know, we do these things for Allah that's good, but if we stop there and we feel, think we're in a better place, it's not good enough. Inshallah, we begin to think about what have I done? What have I changed? What have I contributed to? And measure that change to see if it's, if it's worthwhile. You know, it's quantifiable. It has to be measurable success. 
so that inshallah we know we make a difference in this society. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you with talent and with time and with the energy to make a difference. And inshallah, I hope to see your success. Assalamu alaikum wa